Greetings all, Nippon B here, and welcome to our game two of our Skaven team, Flea Bitten, our past Sag team. Uh, I really debated whether or not to even show this game, but I was told I probably should just go ahead and do it. It's going to be a quick game, I'm afraid. Uh, you know, as you know, these are uh, pre-played, and then we do this off of the uh, watch the replays so that we can get the games in quicker. Uh, as it takes off a lot of the extraneous stuff. I will tell you that unfortunately this team does end up conceding about halfway through, so... Uh, but I was told, you know, I, he does make a number of play mistakes, and there's some bad luck involved in some of the stuff, but I wanted to go through and go ahead and uh, just do this quick video so that we could take a look and see, you know, how things are going to progress. And one of the nice things about this particular team, because of the way we'd like to start off on defense, a lot of times, uh, especially bash teams, want to try and get those first hits in in order to get ahead of us. Um, I'm all for that. Um, because, you know, further down, the road, it's easy for me to score and then just get set back up on anyway. I would much rather try and take the ball away from them. And then have a shot at scoring again. So we start off with a riot uh, and lose a turn. So I seem to be getting a lot of riots lately. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, so, you know, he tries to pick up the ball first with the, as a chaos team. That, to me, is a huge mistake. But it worked out in terms of he's at least managed to pick the ball up. But I believe he... Yeah, and I don't... I guess he's wanting to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, and I don't know quite why. He just abandoned his ball carrier. <laughs> So, we being Skaven, are going to do something about that. Not a great scatter, but, you know, we'll at least be able to get some people over there and cause mischief. See, this is one of those things, especially when playing against Skaven, you want to make sure you have the ball protected first and foremost, just if it's up close. If they don't actually have a chance of getting back to it, then, you know, go in and, you know, try and kill as many as you want initially. But if it's up close, you don't want to give them an opportunity to uh, be able to do what I just did there. Um, you know, if a ball is on the ground, it's likely going to be Skaven, so uh, that's one of the main reasons I like to start on defense, as I've said previously. Uh, you know, I just look at defense as an easier offense because the ball's already on their side of the field. You know, I mean, I'm already halfway to scoring, so... And we put some guys down. Didn't hurt them too badly, but... Yeah, right now he's only got you know, two options. Well, one option now in terms of being able to hit me. And he rolls double block and gets hurt for it. Yeah, so like I said, his you know luck is not great in this particular game. Uh, you know, you have to expect especially with a chaos team you're going to roll some double skulls or double blocks uh, happens with lizard men as well and then I get a little greedy here but yeah 
Then I wise up and decide we're going to go ahead and just score and take the points in the game. So we've you know managed to go up one to nothing and it's turn two or turn three thanks to the riot. Forgot about that. And again, he goes for the ball first, which uh, I would be okay if he were to put tackle zones on the ball. Um, you know, again, the ball was so far back I wouldn't be able to reach it turn one. And yeah, double skulls. He's going down again. And as such, we are going to have to go after the ball one more time. Okay, so we've got his, you know, advance taken down. to give him the you know, he's gonna have the center with his guys but you know, right now this gutter runner is now within scoring distance so is this one so if we can get the ball away to just dodge in order to back up a little. But now he's not going, if I remember correctly, he's not going to protect his ball carrier, he's going to take hits. I guess I'm not remember this game well at all. Handing off to the Chaos Warrior. So he's gonna try and box me out from being able to get to this guy. Unfortunately, where there's a gutter runner, there's a way. We managed to get the dodge. Rolled for six. That was excellent. And two. Alright, so we got the knockdown. And a KO. And here's where we do what I like to refer to as gutter runny things. one of those teams that likes to uh, go and stretch the whole field. Ouch. Yeah. Did he have a... He had a reroll, I think, as he double won that. So again, I, there was some bad luck involved in this particular 
set of plays, so. And I'm being a little bit greedy by trying to push people out of bounds, I'll admit it. Now one thing I do like to try and assault the Beastmen is they are the weak link of this Chaos team. Uh, they are the ones more likely to take damage. Um, so I don't often hit Chaos Warriors unless I have to. That, and it's usually, you know, with this particular team it's so much work to try and get to the four strength to make it worthwhile. Gavin doing Skaven things. Or gutter runners doing gutter runner things, I should say. Get those points. Alright, so the KO comes back. So they've still got a full team. Here's where my opponent, again, I think has some poor luck. And gives up. Because the ball is sitting right there. I've got, you know... Yeah, I think I got him knocked down and this is going to be over. I would have really liked to have continued that game. I say that because I was already up to nothing. I was probably going to get four touchdowns out of this game at least. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. Uh, statistic wise, you know, we held onto the ball more than he did, obviously. Uh, usually on their half of the field. Again, I like playing defense with this particular team because they are able to circle around and try and go after the ball and it does make for, you know, easy touchdowns. Um, in terms of star player points, we got his MVP because he conceded. Uh, we did have a gutter runner pick up uh, two or six points and we managed to get another uh, touchdown. So looking at the team roster, so we had the movement boost from our previous one, the one who scored six points for the two touchdowns, he rolled and picked up block. So we're still, you know, it's only two games in. We've only got two skill rolls. I'm a little bit low on that. And hopefully this next game, when I do play, we, like we've got an MVP on the Storm Vermin. Maybe we can get a pass with him on turn eight or something. Uh, so, but we've got, uh, you know, two gutter runners that are just a touchdown away now. Have to concentrate on trying to get those guys up so we can get some block on them as well. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this short little video, and we will hopefully get a full game for you for their third game. Uh, as always, if you have an opportunity, please like the video, leave your comments down below, and I will be back to do this again sometime soon. Thank you very much, and bye.